How is everybody doing? This is Justin Simpers with another edition of Keeping It Real with Your Star Player. And I'm going to go over an old school te sales technique today that has just shifted and spun off the rails. And it is actual human interaction. And look, I get it. Emails are great. Phone calls are better. And in person is best. If you want to close a deal, try some human inter interaction. There's nothing better than that. Period. End of story. And so, you know, emails are effective. Yes, they are. I, I totally get it. Social media effective. Yes, it is. I'm doing it. Right? But when human interaction is called for, don't stand behind your desk in an email. Just don't do it. Too many people these days are afraid of the actual connection that human interaction can bring. But I'm here to tell you, nothing will solve your problem quicker, better, faster than that. Have you ever been in an email exchange and not knowing the tone of the person who is sending the emails or replying to emails with you and or your team on it? And then picked up the phone to find out everything's actually okay. Or have you ever been on an email and go, you know, maybe I better touch base with this person. I can't really judge what's going on. You pick up the phone, you find out they're actually upset greatly about something. Those instincts that you have to pick up the phone are just that, instincts to be reacted on. But nothing, nothing will take the place of a phone or in-person interaction. Look, I, I get people are buying houses online. That's fine, great, and dandy. Nothing will take the place of actually going out and seeing the house. It will not, it just, it won't happen. In certain circumstances and situations, yes. Maybe you might narrow it down between a few, yes. But will it actually go away? No, it won't. COVID actually showed us that. COVID, COVID showed us human interaction is actually more important than we actually think that it is. And so nothing's going to take the place of that. I'm going to give you guys a short, quick story on why I will never fly American Airlines again. Ever. Ever. Okay, so my wife and I took a vacation. I've never flown first class. Doesn't matter how much money I make. I'm like, I am not doing that. I was like, you know what? I'm going to do first class. I spent... A lot of money on airfare on our trip in June. A lot of money. On the way home, they lost her bag. Not only did they lose her bag, they lost the bag that had all the fancy purses in it, all the fancy merchandise, all was in one bag. They lost it. It took me four weeks to get somebody on the phone to go over what was happening with my my wife's luggage. Four weeks. I still can't get, they sent us the bag with stuff stolen out of it. Stolen out of the bag. They, they're they sending me emails, we're gonna pay you so many, so many receipts. I'm like, dude, pick up the old fashioned phone and save a customer. They don't care. So that's an example of me being pissed off, I'm going to actually voice my opinion about it, but nobody will pick up the phone and take responsibility at all. And I'm a first class traveler. I didn't pay $500 for airfare. I paid $6,000 for it. Pick up the damn phone and call me. No one. I have sent countless and count five emails to the customer service department that supposedly is gonna get a manager to call me back. It has been two and a half months since we have traveled. Yes, I'm pissed off. But that's an example of human interaction. I come out in my sales um, ability when the poop hits the fan. When the poop hits the fan, that's when I come out. But you know what, that's when I make the most money because I don't stand behind things and hide. I come out and like, how can I fix it? Like the wolf in Pulp Fiction with his bag and everything. How can I fix it for you? That's why I continue to get customers. That is why I get referrals. And you guys have to understand that. Hey, tell somebody about my videos. 